Today we're going to be testing the um, British Avon drinking cap system and we'll be comparing it to that American one I was, you know, using the other day which uh, was a bit annoying. So anyway, we're going to be checking the Avon one out. I have, um, I think this is a replica of a British Army canteen because I couldn't find any genuine British Army canteens for sale. But, you know, it's a pretty straightforward thing. All the NATO canteens, as far as I'm aware, at least the Type 58 NATO canteen or something it's called, as far as I'm aware, have the um, same connector on it, like the same millimetre sort of thread or whatever else. So my Avon one should work absolutely fine with it. Now, on a lot of these canteens, they have the tops that look like the drinking tube connects, but they actually don't. So the Avon one actually obviously has the proper cap on it. So I'm going to put that on, we're going to fill it with water, and then we're going to test it with the S10 and my FM12 and see if they both work. Okay, so the cap looks like that underneath. That's what it looks like on top when you disconnect this. This was on very tight to start with, so I had a hard job actually pulling it off. Now, interestingly, when you thread this on, the Avon lid doesn't go anywhere far as down. I guess that's because the drinking tube's in it. It only goes that far down compared to a normal canteen lid. But it does sit on properly. So um, what I'm going to do is just take that back off, put the actual thing that holds it in place on, and then we'll fill the canteen with water and test it with the masks. Okay, so the canteen's now filled with water. Hopefully you can hear that. Um, I'm just checking the, the lid isn't quite on tight, so let me try and sort that. Okay, so big complaint to start with. These military first canteens are utter crap. Um, the thread on there sort of thing isn't the proper NATO thread. So I found this Avon lid doesn't fit properly, and obviously it's not going to be the Avon lid at fault because that's a proper lid, so it's going to be the knockoff canteen. So now I'm going to have to try and buy another British Army canteen. Hopefully I can find an actual genuine one somewhere, but they don't seem to turn up on eBay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this over the sink, and hopefully I can at least demonstrate the drinking tube system. But as I said, one star review for the military first canteen. As a canteen of its own lid, I'm sure it's fine, but the issue is it's meant to fit with all the NATO regulations of threads, and it clearly doesn't. Anyway, let's test the masks in the sink. Okay, so the Avon S10 mask, pretty self-explanatory. Let's pull out the drinking tube, and it's got this kind of connector on it. All right, let's get this off of here. Right, that's that connector off there. So. What should happen now is I should just be able to put the Avon connector into the top of that bottle, push down, and that feels like it's got a really nice secure fit in there. So now let me see if on camera I can find a way of getting the drinking tube to actually work on the mask. What I might do is just try and suck water through it because, as I said, I can't really turn this canteen upside down because I think the canteen's going to leak. Yeah, the canteen's going to leak because military first make crap stuff is what I've learned from this. So anyway, let me put the mask on and I'll see if I can suck water through and spit it out. Right, hopefully I'm in frame as much as possible. Let's turn the thing into this mask and get the drinking tube into my mouth. I'm going to need to turn this upside down, which is going to be a disaster. <coughs> it works. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can see this, even if, you know, this is incredibly disappointing with the bottle cap, but when you press this Avon bit into that, and notice that unlike the American one, the Avon one stays in upside down. What you can do, you press that in. When that's pressed in, it makes the, um, you know, open the connector, same as the American one, except it actually sits in on its own. And if the bottle fit with it properly, but the crappy military first bottle doesn't, because it's not actually a NATO thread, um, you can suck air and so. If there was water there now, it would be working. But the bottle is crap. 
Okay, let's see if we can evaluate the connection strength of the Avon cap. I think, as you can see, this bottle cap connector is much better. It actually stays in where it's meant to stay in, unlike that American type design that I know I was using at the Russian canteen, which is like the worst of both worlds, but regardless, this is simply better by design. But there you go. So, thumbs up to the Avon drinking system, as far as I can tell, it works fine. Big thumbs down to the military first, what's supposedly a British Army canteen, but it's obviously not because the screws don't match up on the lids. So, uh, avoid the military first stuff like the plague, obviously it's not a British canteen, but as far as I can tell this works. So what I'm now going to have to do is try and find another British Army canteen or the standard NATO, whatever they're called, type, um, so I can actually get a working canteen for my respirators. Um, but, yeah. What I'm just going to quickly do is get out the FM12 and just double check the FM12 connects to this lid as well. Okay, so the Avon FM12. I think the drinking tube is actually a bit longer on this than the S10, but as far as I can tell, oh yeah, same connection. Actually looks a slightly better connector on this one than the S10. So that's in nice and tight. Um, it's just, for example, again. Yeah, that's not coming out of there. That's a good connection. Makes a change. and uh, check out the drinking tube. I haven't actually cut this one to size, so um, it's not great for getting it into my own. So there you go. Works really well as far as I can tell. Shame military first make a crap bottle 